All right, thank you, Joyce. Thank you and welcome to class. Good to have you. Okay, so let's begin with our alphabet review. My beforehand Yay. is my... And my afterhand okay. is my... Right hand. And the initial letter is... A. And the final letter is... Z. And what are the middle letters? N. N and N. Good. How many letters are in the N. alphabet? 26. Good. And there's two kinds of letters. What are they? Those and ones. Good. Well, today... Oh, let's have, get the alphabet strip. You want to do a cursive or print? Just try cursive. Will you, using your fingers of your beforehand and afterhand, will you touch and name the letters? A, B, C. Just work on the alphabet. D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. And, y. and of course, Z. Well done, you. Now, today, as we're making our semicircle of the alphabet, we're going to also talk about accents. So put your hands on your face like this. Put your hands on your face. And I want you to feel when you say my name, say Sarah. See what you have. Oh, get your elbows off the table. You can't, it doesn't work if you're leaning on something. Sit back. Sarah. Sarah. Now you can say Joyce Robinson. Joyce Robinson. Robinson. Yeah. Did you notice when you were doing that that certain syllables were a little bit louder, a little bit longer? Maybe your jaw lowered more. Sarah. More air came out. Yeah. That's called an accent. So as you're placing your letters today, I want every other letter to kind of be sticking up. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just make the semicircle, and then we'll 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 accent them. Okay. There. Keep on going. It's pretty easy because I know that all of the first letters are purple. A B C D E mm -hmm. F I mean, there's a G. Good. There's a H. There's a H right here. H. I'm just making some more space. Good. There you go. H and I, Jane, you said. Okay, keep going. We're making a semicircle, not a mountain. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Here, make it more of a semicircle. Mm -hmm. Check your alphabet. A B C D F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Good. Good. Let's try to say them together. Okay. 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 All right, so now I want you to say the alphabet, but I want you to accent it. A. B. C. C. E. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. P. P. L. M. N. O. P. P. Q. S. T. U. N. B. W. <laughs> now there you're like accenting each of them, huh? 
Really good. Okay, we go ahead and stick them in this bag. What did you say? No, it's fine. Get them in here, and I'm going to get out our sound cards. That we're gonna practice playing cards. Letter cards. I like this. Thank thing. you, sis. Okay. So with the letter cards, you're going to name the letter that you see. Um, F. Can I finish? You please do, actually. Thank you. All right, what's that letter? So on these, say the keyword and sound. Knew it! But it's upside down. <laughs> Tag p iggle it. Table toe. Mop more. Wait, Nest. can you do that sound again? Mm -hmm. Nest mm. Bat ba. Violin ba. Fish fa. And apple a. And da. Da da. Remember it's d. Not the the right. Gotta make sure with the sounds. Um, will you go around and and make sure that we don't have that disturbance? We gotta make sure we're not disturbed. Thank you. Okay, so let's go on. Okay. I'm gonna give you some words and I want you to echo them. So let me put these out of the way. Your first word is win. Win. Wit. Wit. Wind. Wind, and that's a W. <laughs> Is that the, what's the sound you heard in the initial place? W. w. Right, or? W. You're right, it's kind of a quiet sound, isn't it? So, uh, what part of your mouth? Here's over here. Go ahead and take a look. W. 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 It's silent, though. It's just w. Right. W. So, did you see what your mouth was doing? Uh, what shape was it making? It's kind of a little, right, yeah. circle-like? Yeah. A little round shape? Yeah. Do you feel any air coming out? Not very much. Very slight, maybe, huh? So we call that the round air shape. Uh, is it open or Wagon. blocked? Is open or blocked? Um. Open? Open. Yeah, it's totally open. Uh, is it a voice though? No. Nope. Right. This is actually unvoiced. So we know vowels are open and voiced. It it becomes voiced when you add a vowel like what or water or even when. But it's the vowel that's voiced, not the part. Okay. So we know vowels are open and voiced. So is this a vowel or a consonant? Well. Consonant. The rounded air, right, is just a consonant. So let me get that on our sound chip. Would you like to take off the sticky part? I don't want the sticky part. Okay, I'll take off. Ah. Take off the backing that's not sticky. While you do that, I'm going to write some words on the board. Thank you. It looks like this. Joyce, we don't need to. Um, where'd my eraser go? I want you to take a look at these words and tell me what you see they have in common. Uh, oh, excuse me. Before you do that, the rounded air goes right up here. In the middle sail. Because it's you know. wind. 
Yeah, I guess so. That's a good place for it. Hmm. And get this out of our way. So, what do you see with these letters? I noticed something, Mom. What, honey? So, um, the left trailer is by the fish. Oh. And fish. And then the thing that looks like a wind is by the sail that makes. Nice. Okay. So, what do you see in common with these words? What do they all have in common? What letter is alike in the initial position? What's that letter? W. That's right. So take a look at our letter card. Okay. W. That's right. And the key word, you said you know it, but I'm going to give you the riddle anyway. Okay. The four-wheeled vehicle is not powered by a motor. Um. Large ones carry heavy items, and children enjoy riding in small ones. Um. Pioneers loaded their belongings in covered ones to move westward. The key word is? No. Wagon. Ah, oh, there you go. And it looks like that. Okay, wagon, right. Not a red one. So when we're writing a W in cursive, um, let's see, let's do it on this paper. Um, you're going to start at the little arrow. That's right. You're going to swing up, stop. Pull straight down, curve under, swing up, stop, I mean. So, swing up, stop, pull straight down, swing up, stop, pull straight down, swing up, stop, release. Try not to lean on that table. It makes a lot of squeaky noises, huh? So, here's your paper, here's your pencil. Name and trace this one right here. Will you trace it, please? And name it. W. Go ahead. Swing up. Curve under. <laughs> okay. So swing up, stop. Pull straight down, swing up, stop. Pull straight down, swing up, stop, and release. Good. Go ahead and make your own on the side. Now go below and name and make an additional copy. Name w. it. Curve under, pull straight down, curve under, pull straight down. <laughs> release. Nice. Okay, that's some good W drawing you're doing. So I'm going to give you the name of the letter and you give me the keyword and sound. Wagon what? W. Wagon what? W. Wagon what? W. Wagon what? All right, now I'm going to give you the keyword and the letter and you give me the sound. Is that where it, how it goes? I'm going to give you the sound, excuse me, and you give me the keyword and letter name. So, what? Wagon. Oh, I have to be careful. Wagon W. Dub. Wagon W. Wagon W. That's right. It's kind of a silent sound, isn't it? Because it's just the mouth moving. I like it better when you say what. Uh -huh. But remember, that only happens if there's a vowel coming after it. So just for the W, it's okay. So the name of the letter is W. The keyword and sound are wagon. <laughs> okay. If I give you the sound, echo the sound. Okay. Now name the sound. I'm sorry. Name the letter and write the letter right here next to the last copy. So name it. And write it. Thank you. What kind of sound do we call that? That is a rounded air. There you go. You say rounded air? Rounded air. Good. Let's go ahead and practice um, coding some words that have the rounded air, the sound, okay? So we'll prepare, before we do this, I want you to come up here. I'm going to uh, demonstrate using the discovery words, okay? So I'll use the pink marker since we like that one so much. A vowel and a closed syllable is short. We code it with a brief. Right. So win. Vowel and a closed syllable is short. Code it with a brief. Whip. 
and bow on close of the shark, cut it with a reed. Wind. Can you listen to our song first? Sure. Vowel in a closed syllable and short. Cut it with a reed. Vowel in a open syllable is long. Cut it with a macron. I got it right that time, didn't I? I always like to interrupt because sometimes you kind of like you mess it up. Yes. Okay, so let's go ahead and have you code. How about you do these two words? I'm sorry, these two lines, and then you can read them to me. Okay, so go ahead and read. Wind to west, wind, wind to wind, wind, wit. Thank you. Let's go ahead and do the next two. Just to, just to practice, I want you to do the next two. Twin, wind, wind, wit, what, wump. You want to try that again? Wimp. Perfect. That's some good reading. So you just learned to read words with a rounded air sound, right? And the I, uh, short vowel sound. Okay, so now let's prepare. I'm going to, let's erase these. And I'm going to read you some words. I want you to repeat them after me. Echo them, please. We've got hat, hat. hip, hip, and Hand. Hand. What sound did you hear? That's a like in those words. Yes. Uh, and oh, what part of your mouth is moving? It's open. Definitely feels open, huh? And it's confident because it's not moist. That's right. Good. You checked that out already, huh? And it kind of sounds like maybe a dog panting. Can you go? <laughs> That's right. So you, what we call that? We call that panting air. Just like, um, so it's the same picture. We've got rounded air. I forgot to write our W up here. And then the panting air. Is, oh, I, I wrote that one up too soon. Oh, well, let's go ahead and um, see what, see what the sound looks like. So let me write our discovery words so you can tell me what you see is similar. I know how to write that word. That is awesome. All right, what do you see that's in common in all those words? What's... Okay, yep. So the name of that letter is? Joyce, what's the name of that letter? H. Good. And there's a key word. Thank you. There's a key word that goes with this letter. Here's your riddle. Hat. This piece of clothing covers your head. It typically has a shaped crown and brim and it is worn outdoors. Men should respect by removing it. The key word is? Huh? Hat. Good. Oh, I hat. Do like a fancy hat. Oh, sorry. So the kind men wear that they take off when they're outdoors. So when you're riding take an off. H, yeah, they take off their head to show respect. When they're indoors, they take it off to show Respect for people. Decide to take it off outdoors. outdoors. I meant indoors. Okay, so when you're writing the letter H in cursive, you're going to curve way up left. Sorry, curve way up and then loop left. Okay. Pull straight down. And then trace up and over. Pull down. Release. Let's get you. Mama, what paper. sounds do you hear that? Okay, will you go ahead and trace and name that letter H? H. Good. Pull straight down. Let, let me um, say the process again as you trace the next one. I want you to curve way up. Curve way up. Loop Just left. Up. Pull straight, straight down. down. Trace up and over. Pull down, release. All right. All right, so name and trace. The next one. Um, look how big the release that was. Okay. Name and trace that one. Name it. Each. Now come over here and make a copy. And name and trace. I'm sorry, name and write. What is it? H. Good. 
And then go below, name and write an additional copy. H. Nicely done. That looks really good. So I'm going to give you the name of the letter. You give me the keyword and sound. H. 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 Now I'm going to give you the sound and you give me the keyword and name. So. You give me the keyword and name. Hot Ug H. Hot Ug H. <laughs> okay. Let's see about moving on. So the name of the letter is H. And the keyword and sound are Girls Hot Ha. There you go. Okay, echo the sound. I'm going to make the sound. I want you to echo the sound, and then you're going to name and write right next to your last copy yeah. here, okay? So, H. Oh, echo the sound. Name the letter. H. And write the letter. When you, when you uh, curve way up, go all the way to the top, okay, before you go straight down. So let's code some discovery words. Um, let's see, you've circled the H, but with the vowels, it's a vowel on a closed syllable, so it's short, we cut it with a breathe. Vowel on a closed syllable short, cut it with a breathe. And a vowel on a closed syllable short, cut it with breathe. So we've got hat, hip, and hand. Hey, well, Great. Hat, hip, and hand. Oh good, why don't you go ahead and code all four rows then and then you can read them. So you get all the vowels, a brief. Go ahead and read your words to me now. Hip, hat, hand, hat, him, hand, him. What, what was that one? Ham. Thank you. Him, hat, hand, hip. Ham, had, hand, hand. <laughs> nice. Hand. That's so hand, good reading. Hand. So we coded words with a what kind of sound? What do we call that? The panting, panting air sound, right? And what was this one called? What was the called? Um. Rounded air. air. Right, we've got rounded air and panting air. Thank you. So we need to now do our instant words. This time we're reading them in a row. So when you read words in a row, you read from left to right. Okay, so I will read and you echo. On. On. As. As. Are. Are. They. They. I. I. For. For. He. He. Is. Is. Was. Was. With. With. Will you read the next row by yourself? Was he as well? No, no, no. I was, don't sing it. Was he? Please read these words. Was he? His? He? For? They? I? With? Her? Are? They? Are? Hmm. Remember, when we read instant words, the idea is to be able to read them instantly. You want to try row three? I are on as his was for with me. <laughs> All right. Me. So next we need to do, we need to practice coding and reading some sentences. Okay. So, oh, you know what? I forgot to get out an important chart about sentences. Let me get that now. This is a new concept to teach y'all. Yeah, all? You, I guess. All right. I know that one. This is a sentence, right? Well, a demonstration of a sentence. It helps to remember, remind us that a sentence is a group of words that begins with a capital letter. That's why it come, comes up. And it ends with a punctuation mark. One of these is a punctuation mark. 
that has a subject and a predicate and expresses a complete thought. Okay, so when we code today, we are coding sentences. Let me go ahead and erase this because we might need to do some more writing on the board. Okay, so <clears throat> sentence is a group of words. It begins with a capital letter, ends with a punctuation mark, has a subject and predicate, and forms a complete thought. The instant words in our sentences today, do you remember how to code instant words? The circle ones. That's right. The ones that we'll find are to, the, circle to. the that, and of. And when we code, we always code left to right. So let's start with the first word. The. So we circle that, since it's an instant word. And then you can code this word. Vowels in a close syllable is short, cut it with a breathe. Good. Good, spotting the um, instant words. Code left, right. So start with that word. Good word. Will you read these three sentences to me now that you've coded them? Oh, you've done four. Great. Will you read all four sentences to us? Keep going. Number two. And him comes in. Um, and him a uh, hat pin. Some people have pins in their hat, so hand him a hat pin. All right, number three. Um, the wind hit the fan. Tim hit. Reading sentence number four, please. Tim hit a ham in a hat pin. And did you want to read sentence five too? Yes, I'm coding it. Okay. Hand band hand band. Nice. So you just coded five different sentences with a and i as your short vowel sounds, didn't you? And they, you coded them all with a brief and you circled your instant words. That's some great coding. Thank you, sis. All right, let's go on to our words here. Um, I think we will start with this side. So I'm going to read the first line while you echo, and then you'll read the second line. But, oh, before we do that, do you notice anything about this first line of words? They all have vowels. Okay. What else do you see? Um, consonant, vowel, ooh, consonant. They all have a in the, the nose, the nostril. Oh, you see a, mm, a, the nasal yeah. consonants, right? Mm, or mm. Good. Noticing. All right, why don't you go ahead and echo me. Hint. Hint. Hamp. Hamp. Pant. Pant. Band. Band. Wind. Wind. Read the next line. Wind. Hem. Hint. Band. Hemp. Hemp. Pant. Good. Pant. Hemp. All right, what about these? Do you notice anything about these? They all have a A. Ah, right. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, except the one at the very end. No. Oh. And these all these don't all have nasal. Some have nasal sounds. Okay, so echo me. Daft. Daft. Famped. Famped. Hand. Hand. Damp. Damp. Tint. Tint. Will you read these? Damp. Damp. What was that? Daft. Tint. Hand. Good. Will you read this last row by yourself? Tint. Wind. Band. And ten. Oh, you know what? That you didn't you didn't point out before, but I noticed as you were reading all of these words, you've got a consonant, vowel, and then it's two consonants. 
right next to each other. But in all the cases, you've got a vowel in front of it in a closed syllable, so we coded it with a brief and make it a short vowel sound. Good reading. Thank you. Okay. Let's go on to our instant spelling. Remember with instant spelling, I'm going to give you a sound. You're going to look and listen. Echo. Can I just write on my whiteboard? And then you will write. I actually have a special page for you to use. Anyway, let's use a... Uh... So the little arrows where you'll put the sound, okay? Cool. Good. Do I have to add a cursor? Mm, only if you want to. Can you mix them up? I already did mix them right yesterday, but all right, now they're mixed again. Ready? Okay. First sound, remember, look, listen, echo, I and then write. That one in. You know what? I might as well. I should, probably should. Thank you. There's probably one more I should stick in here, too. I always put them in at the end of the day, but I'm not sure. Maybe I should put them in right now. Sounds good. All right, your first sound is. Okay, go ahead and um, write the letter. Okay. Um, mm. Mm. Okay, look and listen. That's probably why you have to look and listen, huh? Since some are so quiet. Okay, there you go. D. 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 Very good. Very well done. Okay, so let's move on. Our next activity, which is um, let's see, this page is out of order. Excuse me, very confusing to me. Our phonemic awareness. So let me get that. You need your sound tray. Oh shoot. I knocked some off. And can you fix them? And I will get our chart up here. Oh dear, what did you up to? Yeah, I want to put, mix them up and put them on again. Well, hmm. Oh, give me a sec. Okay. Mix, mix, mix. Puffer? Yeah. Look at the. This is what number two is. Tongue tapper. Um, look at number six is. The smiley bell. Oh. And. What? Rounded air and panting air. That's smiley bell. How do you know? I just know these things. What? Um, number four. Up to it. Okay. Up to it. Um, All right, thanks. So I'm going to give you two letter sounds. Okay. I want you to look, listen, echo, and echo in the mirror. 
I'm gonna grab you that mirror and then pull down the, the faces over here, I guess, and then we'll replace them. Okay. You want me to whiteboard? I think you just put them here on the table, can't you? So your first sounds are Great, thank you. Why don't you replace and make a B. B. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay. Uh, if. Okay, you mean F I. Good. All right. Mm. We already did one. Mm. We already did that. One. I'm asking you to do it again. Mm. Okay. Um, um, we're gonna practice pulling them off though, because um, when we do, when we make words with them, it's good to see them in order. Mm. Thank you. This now we can not put that's a lip puffer. No, I was. <laughs> you were right. Mm. Okay, good. Replace. All right. Please do. Ah. What? Ah. Look in the mirror, remember? You echo and you look in the mirror to help you figure out what you're, what sound you're making. What's your mouth doing? Are your lips together though? Nope. nope. You got the ah. Uh. What about? Uh. Painting air. This is why we practice. Ah. Uh. See the, you can feel the air coming at you. Okay, let's replace. And we have one more to do. Okay. Look and listen, and then echo. Mm. I didn't hear it. I did. Oh, thank you. Mm. Wonderful. All right, go ahead and replace. So we just identified sound pictures for those sounds that we've been learning, right? Including the and good 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 practice Joyce so next we're going to do show me the there changes is so again I'm going to give you this time I'm going to give you little short words you'll look and listen echo then unblend so you can pull down the names I don't remember I haven't really counted maybe about 10 um so you'll unblend you'll pull down the sound pictures and then I want you to Change. Uh, you're right. When I give you a new one. Okay. So, show me in. Echo, please. In. Good. Did you unblend? In. Good. All right. Now we're going to either add, take away, exchange, change places, or... I don't know what that one means. Or just stay. I guess. Um, so in this, if this is in, I want you to unblend it and show me when. In. Echo? When. Good. Go ahead and unblend. Okay, I can barely hear. Thank you. And if this is when, show me wit. Well, we need to replace one of these, right? Put it away. Okay, unblend for me. Touching the sounds. It. Thank you. Good. And if this is wit, can you show me hit?
Will you, you unblend blend it for me? Will you touch it while you make those sounds? Good, thank you. All right, now show me hat. Good, you didn't have to change anything there, did you? All right, if that's hat, show me pat. A lip puffer in place of that panting air. Good, if that's pat, show me pit. Okay, touch while you sound it out, please. Good, now if that's pit, show me tip. Blend. Good. If that's tip, then show me nip. Thank you for echoing. Yep, replace. The don't have to go there. Sound it out, please. Touch me. Can you touch the sounds as you make them? Good. If that snip, show me pin. Sound it out. Unblend. Good. That's one reason I have you touch while you sound so that we make sure which noses are. <laughs> Which noses, which pictures are making which sounds. That's good. So when we changed nip to pin, they just swapped places. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, the front nasal for the lip puffer sound. Okay, now we get to do spelling practice. Can you replace, can you put these sound pictures away? Yes, I believe it is. So spelling practice. Again, you get to... Look and listen, echo, unblend again, pull down your mouth pictures, make, save the letters that go, the sounds, and then write it, and then code what you've written. So you should have, I know. Can I air write it? Here you go. How about the whiteboard? No, we're going to write it. So where would you like this paper? Right in front of you over here? You don't have to do cursive. Um, remember though, I want to see the mouth, I want you to unblend, use mouth pictures, and then you can say the letters and write, okay? So if you hear a vowel sound, it's followed by a consonant sound, remember it gets coded with a brief. Okay, mm -hmm. so in fact, I've got that chart up here. Uh, short vowel, uh, vowel and a close syllable, short, coded with a brief. Okay, so I will go ahead and model for you. If I had the word win, I would take uh, sound and my smiling vowel. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, thank you. So I'm going to name it W I N. And then I get my pencil or my writing utensil and I write out win. Now I'm going to code it with a brief win. And I'll say it. another dot. Okay, so let me model for you one more uh, because you're going to be doing more than one. I want to model for you the word had. So I'm going to put these pictures back. How many words are there? I don't remember. I'll take a look. Okay, that's a panting air sound and a smiling vowel for ah. You even tell me and the word. D, which is a tongue tapper. I know, I'm modeling for you. One last. Oops, I forgot the race. So, I am blended. Add. H-A-D. So I'm going to write it. And then I'm going to code it. Now I'm close a little short, code it with a brief. Had. Okay, that's what I want you doing. Let's go ahead and begin with a word. Twin. 
I'm giving you a long one. Twin. So look and listen. Twin echo, good. Let's unblend. Good. See? Hmm. Can you tell me the letters now? Can you point? Two. Can you name the letters though? What was that sound? In. So what's that letter going to be? Good. Go ahead and write it. Write it? Yep, write it right here using the arrow. Oh, I like to keep that eraser on so it's easier to use. Thank you. You don't have to curse it, but try to do your best handwriting, okay? Um, is I'm going to use this paper as just evidence of what you've learned, okay? okay? So your next word is ham. Ham. Can you get your mouth pictures to go with it? Eh. Eh? Mm -hmm. What was that sound? Look and listen. Eh. Ham. Ham. Okay, so what do we do with this? <laughs> Put it back. Thank you. What are the letters? What was the word? A. So what's that letter? H A L. Good. Go ahead and write it. That's right. We have plenty of space. Going to do you talk. What's the word? Yeah. Thank you. All right, your next word, look and listen. Hit. Hit. Will you please get your mouth pictures? Hit. Okay, name the letters. Hit. H I T. Good. Handwriting, please. You're hitting the table. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Last word. Wimp. Echo, please. Wimp. Mm hmm. Let's get the right. Good. Name the letters. W I M P. Good. Go ahead and write it. You know what we forgot to do with all those words? We forgot to code them. them and read them. Yes, my bad. Will you please do that now? Twin, ham, hit, win. Good. Let's see. Twin, ham, hit, win. Yep. Let's go ahead and get ready for dictation. I had another piece of paper for you to use for dictation. Here it is. And we're going to write. Um, sentences. And there are only three sentences? Oh, actually, just phrases today, my bad. So we'll write three phrases. Um, before we do, let me remind you with sentences, you're still going, you're going to circle the instant words and, um, okay, I was going to write the instant words up here. Oh, let's see. Two. The and a. Uh. Okay, so your first phrase had a twin. Had a twin. Had a twin. Had a twin. Now go ahead and write. Okay, good. Go ahead and um, read what you wrote. Had a twin. Okay. Next phrase. Oh, we need to code that too. Excuse me. You know what? You've got an eraser. Let's use it instead of just having scribbles on your paper. There. Go ahead. Put the letter there that you meant to use. 
Okay, go ahead and code it. Remember uh, is one of our sight words. Good, thank you. Next phrase. A hit to win. A hit to win. A hit to win. A hit to win. Good. Go ahead and write it. Good. Thank you. Good. And I'm glad to see that you put it as you went. All right. And last one. Hand the ham. Hand the ham. Hand the ham. Hand the ham. 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 Okay. Go ahead and write it. And read what you wrote. And the ham. Ham. That was good. All right, so we have spelled some words that are in closed syllables, vowels short. We wrote phrases for that short vowel. You circled your instant words. Fabulous. So today, the what are the two sounds we learned? Right. And what kind? What do we call those two sounds? Um. Uh, What's the? What do we call that? Um. Uh, Round. round. It's a round air, a round air sound. Yep. And the other one is the. What do we call that sound? Panting air. That's right. So round air and panting air. Now the difference between sentences and phrases in a sentence starts there with a capital and ends with punctuation, right. and the other more. Um, the phrase starts does not. Have There's no capital, yeah. right? And it's not a complete thought. Okay, good work. Thank you for your help today. You can stop that. Bye.